Hi guys, Steve here. I keep getting asked what's my PC specs, and what settings I use in Arc. So I thought I'd do a quick video to show you. I'll start with my computer components. My motherboard is an Asus X99 Deluxe. The CPU is an Intel i7 5820K. For RAM, I have 16 gig of DDR4 Corsair Vengeance. And the graphics card is a 4 gig Asus GTX 970. These components are about a year old now, and you can find them in my unboxing playlist. Now on to my arc settings. These are what I usually play on. I'll leave them up if you wanted to copy them. Before I go into why I chose these, you want to find a balance between what looks good and what runs well. I just click the reset so you can see what we start with. That gives us medium graphic settings. I'll land so you can see the differences better. And I'm going to start off by turning off the stuff you don't need. Okay, when you run, the screen bobs up and down. So if you're trying to shoot something, it makes it harder to hit. So to stop that, go to options and then turn off camera view bob. And now you can move smoothly without the bobbing up and down. This is a good tip one of my viewers gave me. When you mouse over the graphic quality, it gives you an idea of what settings your graphics cards can handle. It says my 970 will be okay with high, so I'm going to select that. At high it's turn motion blur on, but you don't really need it. That means when you turn the camera the background blurs. It's easier to see if I get on my bird. It makes turning your head look smoother, but it's more work for your GPU. So I'll just turn that off. That saves some processing and you can hardly tell the difference. Ok, let's go back to the graphics and see what else we can tweak to improve the performance. These bottom settings I leave on because it makes the world look nicer. However, you can turn them off when you're being raided. Because there's less shadows, foliage and places to hide, it makes raiders easier to see. Settings that are usually resource heavy are anti-aliasing and shadows. So we're going to start with those. The higher settings you have, the softer and better quality the shadows look. These are for your trees and rocks, and for the shadows your dinosaur casts. You can see that the one from a bird has a really soft edge. They're at high at the moment, but I'll lower them to medium. Visually, altering general shadow to medium virtually makes no difference. The game still looks fine. So I'm going to do the same with terrain shadow. And honestly, you really can't tell the difference, unless you look really closely. Textures I leave on high because I want them to look good. And the final setting I lower to save on GPU rendering is anti-aliasing. This smooths the edges of everything in game. I move close into a plant to demonstrate. Ok, look around the edges of the leaves. On high the edges are still really smooth. On Epic it's even better and the edges are virtually straight. However if you put AA down to low, the leaf edges now look jagged. It looks a bit crap so try to avoid that. The minimum you should try and aim for is medium. The world still looks nice when you move around in it. It's only when you get really close to objects, you notice that they're not as sharp as they should be. Ok, so these are the minimum settings that I play on. The game was terribly optimised when it first came out. However, it's now gradually getting better. My GTX 970 graphics card can play every other game at maximum settings, even Star Citizen, so I refuse to change my settings lower than this, as it's up to the devs to optimise the game better. But if you've got a good graphics card and it's struggling, it's not your GPU, it's the game. But with the settings I've shown you, at least you'll be able to play it okay, if you've got an equivalent card. 
One thing to remember is, if you've got a lot of objects and dinosaurs around you, the more strange your graphics card will be. This is a fairly small base on my locally hosted game. Here I get about 45 to 55 frames per second. It's smooth, everything renders quickly and I don't get any lag. However, on our official terrible laggy server, in a huge base with lots of dinosaurs around me, that frame rate will drop down to 7 to 10 per second, so a lot more objects do make a big difference. If you built metal structures, one thing you might find really annoying from them is a blinding reflection of the sun. The only way to turn this off at the moment is to press tab to open up the command console, then input the following code, and that will turn off a bloom effect. Now you won't get blinded, and it should save some graphic card processing. The only problem is, you have to do this every time you start the game or change your graphic settings. The final thing I want to talk about is view distance. By default it's set on medium, so it won't render objects in a far distance. For example, you can't see any rocks on that mountain. However, if I change the distance to epic, now you can. The mountain's covered in rocks. But of course your graphic card's got to work harder because there's more stuff on screen, so I only really turn this up when I'm scouting or sniping. Otherwise it's just best to leave your view distance on medium. Well, that's all the graphic settings I use. If you've got any tips to make the game run better, please leave them in the description box below. Thanks for watching, and if this was helpful, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out the other helpful videos at the end, and I'll see you again. Goodbye!